Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here with the Motorola Click XT, also known as the Motorola Quench. Here to do a quick preview of the Moto Blur 2.154. Um, I'd like to thank ADLX for the leak of this beta ROM, and we're just going to take a quick preview of how it runs on the XT. So the first thing we noticed that is different from our previous ROMs is this lock screen. Um, we now have a sound on, sound off, and then we have just our normal slide to unlock there. Um, it's running modal blur, obviously. Um, like I said, this is 2.1 has brought a pretty snappier blur compared to what was running on 1.5. Um, so let's take a quick preview of what's going on with this ROM. So we have our, pretty much this ROM is running uh, stock from the leak that um, ADLX released. The only thing that was added was super user in order to extract the ROM. Uh, let's see. We do have FM radio and um, a bunch of other goodies. So let's start off on the top here. What's new? You have the browser. Um, the browser is going to have flashlight, but let's um, Google that for you. Uh, okay. Also, the browser has pinch to zoom, as well as pretty much every other um, aspect of the phone. So there is pinch to zoom. Uh, as you can see, it says you have, maybe you can't see it, but it says you have version 9.123 installed, the flash. So. Unfortunately, they set up their website more for higher versions of Flash, but it does have flash ins Flashlight installed. As you can see, pinch to zoom does work. So that's the quick preview of the browser. Um, let's see. Google Maps will also have pinch to zoom available, so let's show it to you. As you can see, pinch to zoom does work on Google Maps, which is nice. Um, next thing I'd like to show is the camera. For those that uh, ran uh, the updates for Moto Blur, uh, 1.32.20 or 1.3224 um, received this new camera, um, has different uh, buttons on there. But the thing that we're all curious about is um, does flash work? And we're just going to keep it here, as you can see. Flash does work on the ROM. Uh, geotagging does work. So we do have flash working, uh, camera flash, as well as uh, flashlight on the browser. Let's see what else is new on here. FM radio. Mm, please plug in headset. Just give me one second here. Alrighty, so I plugged in my headset. We're going to load up the FM radio there. And. Alrighty. Would you like to scan? 
Okay. So FM radio is scanning. It is working uh, fine. We can, uh, well, it's sort of working fine. So it does find um, our radio stations. As you can see, it has a station name, what type of station it is. Um, let me just change it to something a little better. Let's see. Okay. So um, it does find it. Unfortunately, right now there is no sound out of it. Um, loudspeaker, you're not going to get sound out of it right now. There is a um, way to get sound. You would have to call the phone or place a phone call. So I will show you guys how that works real quickly. So I just place a phone call here. Alrighty. And this is just to uh, show that it is possible to get sound out of the FM radio. It's just sometimes it just doesn't work English. How can I help you today? Let's Well, unfortunately, I'm not getting the FM radio to load. It's hit or miss to get the sound out of it. Um, it I, I can tell you that sometimes you do get the sound. But the only times I've been able to get the sound out of the FM radio is if I, if I am on a phone call. So it is slightly buggy um, in that sense. Uh, the other bug that obviously still plagues the phone, which is why we have the issue with the FM radio, is the speaker phone bug. So... Let me actually unplug this headset out of here. All right, so if we call 611. Normally, you would expect sound out of the headset, but it's automatically coming out of the speakerphone. Um, again, if you toggle that um, English, it will come out of the normal speaker there. However, as soon as proximity sensors go on, Same. English. Sorry, I'm having so much trouble. Proximity sensor you. just keeps I'll it on speakerphone. So that is that is one of the bugs that we still have with the ROM. Um, let's see what else is it here? That's pretty new. Everything else is pretty much what we've seen uh, with the previous click-based ROMs. So there is another thing that I haven't showed. And our notification LED is also working. So currently, the, the real bugs here are still the audio um, output in terms of figuring out where the audio should be outputted. So FM radio sort of works, um, doesn't fully work. And uh, we still have to do our speakerphone toggle in order to have phone calls out of the normal headset uh, speaker. Nonetheless, it is a little bit better because the sounds are automatically being diverted to the speaker. So if you're fine with using a speaker phone or answering a phone call in speaker, it, it'll be okay. But I think it'll be a matter of time till that gets fixed, hopefully. And that's just a quick preview of Moto Blur 2.1.54 for the Click XT. Um, once again, I'd like to thank ADLX for his leak of this ROM. Um, thank you, and I hope you guys enjoyed this run.